In this video from Device Doctor, we're going to show you how to easily and quickly connect your Epson L6490 printer to your phone using Wi-Fi Direct. Stay with us till the end of this tutorial. If you're having trouble with your printer, you can fix it for free on your own. If you have any technical questions or aren't sure which printer to buy, just ask us for expert advice and free support. All right, let's get started, friends. Before anything else, please like this video to give us more energy to create better content. Turn on the printer and wait for it to reach ready mode. Now on the printer's touchscreen, tap the Wi-Fi icon for the phone at the top of the screen. Now you have two options. If you want to connect the printer to the router, select the first option. If you need to connect the printer directly to your phone, tap the Wi-Fi Direct option. We need to use Wi-Fi Direct, so tap on it. Then tap on the Start Setup option. Now, the printer's Wi-Fi is on. You need to find its password from the top option I pointed to. In this option, you can also find the Wi-Fi name and disable the Wi-Fi if needed. Click on the Change Password option, and now you'll see the Wi-Fi password. If needed, you can change it from this section as well. I'll change the Wi-Fi password to something simple using numbers from 1 to 8 to make connecting easier. Now, the printer is ready to connect to your phone. To do this, go to the Wi-Fi settings on your phone and look for the printer's name in the list of available networks. Once you find it, tap on the printer's name to connect. When prompted, enter the password you set earlier for the printer's Wi-Fi. After entering the password, you'll be easily connected to the printer. Now you can print directly from your phone's gallery. However, we highly recommend using the Epson iPrint app for printing. The app not only provides additional features, but it's also very easy to use and offers a professional experience for all your printing needs. Now, you can import your favorite photo or file into the app and prepare it for printing. Once the file is selected, you can easily adjust all the necessary print settings directly within the app. This allows you to choose things like print quality, paper size, and the number of copies, ensuring the output is exactly how you want it. Moreover, the app provides additional useful features for printer maintenance. You can use it to clean the printer's print head, which can improve the quality of your prints. As you can see, we were able to easily print our file using Wi-Fi Direct along with the Epson iPrint app. I hope you followed the steps in this video correctly and that you've successfully printed your document too. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Device Doctor for more helpful videos.